I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today is Foundation Friday. Now if you are new to my channel, I review foundations every Friday and today we're actually going to be reviewing two different foundations. I have the Maybelline Dream Cushion versus the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion. We will be putting these to the test side by side comparing just about everything and whoever loses will be put into the trash. Just kidding, I would, I would never just waste foundation like that. I mean, I might return it, but I ain't gonna throw it away. So let's get started with this foundation showdown. Starting on a moisturized face, I'm going to now add my primer. This is the Stay Matte by Rimmel. I've just used it in all of my foundation Fridays, so we're just gonna keep on using it. And I'm going to apply this to the areas where I usually always get oily. Let me go ahead and put these bangs away. curly hair problems. How does that even happen? Let's start off with the Maybelline Dream Cushion. I'm just gonna pat it. Oh. Ooh. This is kind of cool. I wasn't expecting good coverage and I'm actually getting good coverage. Look at that. And the color is good too. I am going to go in for a little bit more. Ooh, you don't even have to press that hard. A lot actually does come out. So I'm going to put a little bit more on half of my forehead. I think that's good enough for the first side. Here's side with makeup. Here's the side without. Pretty cool. And now I'm going to grab my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion for the other side. Same exact little powder puff. This one just says L'Oreal, the other one says Maybelline, but it's literally the same. Dab it. This one is definitely lighter. Hmm, this isn't gonna be a good comparison because it's too light. This is super off. Maybe I should go run to Target and buy another color. Ugh. Do not have time to be looking for more makeup. Walk around with half my face on. Do they not even have my color? Are you kidding me? They only have W3. All these are too light, and C8 is too dark. Oh, so, the search continues. Oh, yeah. Okay. Please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please, oh, please. Oh, just one. So W8 is the darkest out of the W colors. The only one darker than that would be C8 Coco. The last Lumi color in America. <sighs> okay, I'm back. So I'm just gonna start over. Just to be fair, starting fresh. Now let's try the L'Oreal Lumi side one more time. Looking a little bit darker, okay? Oh, much better. So much better. Here is my completed side-by-side -side comparison of the two. So on this side I have my Dream Cushion by Maybelline and this side I have the L'Oreal Lumi cushion. So my very first initial thoughts right after applying, I will say that the Maybelline Dream Cushion was probably a better color match to my actual skin tone, which is kind of ironic because this is called true match, meaning it should be a true match to my skin tone. But I feel like this one is a little bit more yellow. So I'm getting more warm undertones from this Caramel 55 and more yellow golden undertones from the W8 Lumi. Straight off a color comparison, I'd probably go with the Dream Cushion. Now before I break down any more of the details, let me put on the rest of my face. And we're back with my full face once again. The first thing we could talk about is how they look. They literally look exactly the same packaging wise, functioning wise, everything even opens like the same direction, same location, they both have a mirror. 
same thing. Now, if we talk about personal preference on the look, the Lumi cushion packaging is a lot cuter. This is just white with a brown label, and this one has like this pink, rose gold, metallic case to it. The Maybelline one says it's the Maybelline Dream Cushion. It says fresh face liquid foundation on the go. This is the color caramel and it's number 55. The L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Cushion. It says buildable luminous foundation. And this is the, oops. I just realized something. The W5.5 has a rose gold outer casing, but the W8, which ended up being my actual skin tone, is a pretty gold color. So even within the same L'Oreal brand, their colors have different packaging. So when it comes down to the simple look of the packaging, I am gonna have to give the point to the True Match Lumi Cushion. But I like things that are shiny. The L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion has 16 colors to choose from versus the Maybelline Dream Cushion only has eight colors. So there are eight more color options in the Lumi True Match than the Maybelline. I'm quickly learning as I do these foundation reviews that there aren't many color ranges between me and Coco. Like it's always just one more and Coco. My friend's calling me! You just totally ruined my video. Oh, sorry. <laughs> now let's talk about the price. The Maybelline Dream Cushion is $15.99 according to the Maybelline website. And according to the L'Oreal website, this one is $16.99. So you'll be paying a little bit more for this pretty shiny packaging. But although it says it on the website, I personally bought both of these from Target and I only paid $12.99 for the Maybelline and I paid $15.99 for the L'Oreal True Match. And then when I had to buy the other color at a Rite Aid, it cost me $17.29, so the total with tax was $18.80. So this Lumi one can get way higher than this one, depending on where you go. But the real test is going to be how this makeup lasts over time on my oily skin. So I will be back in a couple hours and we'll see how well it does. And we're back. I did put my hair up so there's no distraction. I'm excited because I do notice a significant difference between the two sides. I don't know if you could tell on camera, but there is a little like puddle of oil on the Lumi side and not as much oil on the Dream Cushion side. I would say that the Dream Cushion did a better job on my oily skin. So now it's time to blot. I'm gonna get my Walgreens oil absorbing sheets and I'm actually gonna do one sheet per side so we get a really nice comparison. So starting with the Dream Cushion side, I'm just gonna press and remove. Wow, look at that. Not that much came off. Very interesting. Cool. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other Lumi side. So here is the Dream Cushion side, and here is the Lumi side. The Lumi side did have more oil. So my overall ending impressions, they did a pretty good job. I do think I am more in favor of the Maybelline Dream Cushion. The only thing I'm not really too excited about for either of them is the actual cushion. This is really good for like a quick on the go, you know, I'm in the parking lot of Walmart, hope I don't see anybody, oh wait, I know that girl from high school, let me fix myself real fast, kind of situation. If you have used either one of these before, please leave me a comment, let me know your thoughts. Does it work for you? Have you tried both? Which one do you like better? Do you have oily skin? Let me know, we're all curious. If you enjoyed this review, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. You also can put that little bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. I do post new foundation reviews every Friday and curly hair and skincare videos on Sunday. So I hope to see you all next week. Thanks for watching, Bianca Renee, today.